finally time to start the episode five, I guess. <laughs> um, so welcome to Rokinjima. Begin the game. Suspended again. So let's start from here. So the Chiros. So <laughs> I've just recorded the tea party, but I cannot wait. So I'll be recording episode five now. Episode 5, End of the Golden Witch. Good morning. Please enjoy the new game with its new Game Master. I say that, but the game has already reached its climax. The culprit has already been cornered. Merely awaits checkmate. I'm sure there will be something you can spot from this clearer perspective. The difficulty is fairly easy, but could possibly fool you. I don't know. <laughs> uh, maybe. I don't know. Let's go. Oh, I'm so hyped. After that opening. <sighs> the story is undoubtedly nothing more than fantasy. It cannot possibly have any relation to real persons, organizations, places, or events. We take this opportunity to remind players that owning the PS3 and PC versions of Mnek is a requirement for playing this game. Okay. Oh man. I've... I've tried to raise the volume of the game, so if it's too loud, the game, then tell me. ソナタが歪めるだろうその表情が楽しいからの他に何の理由が必要なのかほら、ほら。ほら、ほら。ほら、ほら。ほら、ほら。ほら、ほら。ほら、ほら。ほら、ほら。ほら、ほら。ほら
Every once in a while, he would change the positions of the pieces, considering the situation after every change. Maybe he was reconstructing previous games, trying to discover the thought process behind the moves that had been made. In the past, Kinzo, the Yoshimiya family had once said that learning chessboard arrangements was like taking a journey through the thoughts of the old masters. Yoshimiya Battler was on a journey, a search for the thought process that led to the Golden Witch to create this arrangement and make these moves. Ooh, is he gonna explore the previous games now? Oh man. Battler took the black piece that should have been moved forward and returned it to its original place, sighing deeply. Battler's pieces were white, however on this chessboard the black encampment was on Battler's side. He was reconstructing the arrangement, trying to play Beato's role. Even Battler didn't expect that Beato would respond to that statement. Ooh, Battler's face. Oh my god. So tender. Oh my god, that look. I'm swooning. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> or rather, he was pretending to talk to himself, thinking there might have been some chance of her responding. Oh man. Oh man, she's so pretty. With her hair down. Oh man, this new sprite. Oh my god. Pietro's eyes reflect nothing in her mouth in her mouth told nothing. Oh after begging him to kill her, the Golden Witch had become a corpse that had given up on life. She wasn't sleeping. She couldn't step down from this game and was therefore forbidden to sleep. So those words must have reached her ears. However, they probably hadn't reached her heart. The Golden Witch could not sneer at Battler's moves, nor would she praise them or belittle them. By now, Beatrice was nothing more than a living doll. Even so, she, was, she would glance him every once in a while. It would be an empty glance, but a glance nonetheless. Sometimes she would seem to make some kind of gesture, or even move her lips. However, her movements never managed to communicate anything to Battler. どうやったらこの局面でこの差し手になるわけだ。わけがわからねえんだよ。お前の差し手はよ。ベアとバトラ君が話しかけていますよ。<笑> Can you believe it? That shrill laugh of Beto's will never be heard again. However, if she, even she couldn't answer, his voice surely reached her. That was what Battler believed that he said those words, so he said it again. I have no clue about episode 4. <laughs> I I have no clue. I need to I need to make the video. Virgilia answered in her disciples stead. Up to this point, she had done her best to avoid speaking for Beato. After all, there was a chance that Beato could have would respond in some way, and Virgilia didn't want to be the one to steal that chance, so Beto was going to have to bear with this silence, until Beto herself answered. Virgilia could no longer bear to watch Battler like this. Besides, Battler also wanted to hear what Virgilia had to say. He believed that conversation would reach Beto's heart. Ah, さっぱりだな。ベアトの立場になって。こうしてコマを動かせば動かすほどに。a serial murder following an epitaph, with that as victor condition, I tried to risk reconstructing the games from the witch's side, but I never ended up making the moves Bieto did. In those games, I could find several incomprehensible moves that clearly work against the victor condition. <laughs> it's desperation, Dazzler. She's desperate for something. And will make moves that hinder her because she's desperate for something. You need to know, you need to know that. Come on, Battler. You need to know the answer to that question, Battler. Ah, 
約束した。Kill me, let me die. No, 俺はこいつを安らかに死なせてやると約束したそしてそれは俺にしかできないベトーズ・ライト・エンコーはバウンドウィズ・ウィズ・ウィズ・ウィズ・ウィズ・ウィズ・ウィズ・ウィズ・ウィズ・ウィズ・ウィズ・ウィズ・ウィズ・ウィズ・ウィズ・ウィズ・ウィズ・ウィズ・ウィズ・ウィズ・ウィズ・ウィズ・ウィズ・ウィズ・ウィズ・ウィズ・ウィズ・ウィズ・ウィズ・ウィズ・ウィズ・ウィズ・ウィズ・ウィズ・ウィズ・ウィズ・ウィズ・ウィズ・ウィ Tormented her over and over inside her waking dream. Oh man. Oh. Oh. So there was never any sign of relief in that empty expression. Her eyelids would sometimes tremble like she was having a nightmare, and every once in a while she would let out a pain gasp. Unless I win, Beto will never be released from the curse that prevents her from sleeping peacefully. <laughs> Why should I take part in any game unless Beto is my opponent? If that's the only alternative, then so much better use of my time to reconstruct previous games while taking a, turn, a journey in search of Beto's thought process. Of course you are, you little gremlin. Oh man. Oh, oh man. Nope. <laughs> Not even one. <laughs> oh man. でも戦う気力を失ったわけじゃないだからつまり私は解除役ってわけわかる ?No ベアトは lying down on the deck chair almost as though she was sleeping however she wasn't sleeping and she wasn't awake either she was nothing but a living doll that had given up on victory who had asked battler to perform her last rites and who had surrendered everything Of course, if everyone just sat around the next game, the fifth game will never be made ready. So, Lambda Delta had su succeeded Beato as the next game master and announced that she prepared the next game. <laughs> Lambda Delta wasn't. <laughs> Wasn't、uh, Higurashi enough for you? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no one asked for my opinion. <laughs> oh, she's talking to me. <laughs> oh, was it Burn Castell? Why are you going along with this? Didn't you suffer enough in Higurashi? What? お前ら何者か知らねえが俺とベアとを無視して勝手に話を進めるんじゃねえ落ち着きなさいよ確かにプレイヤーが変われば察しても変わるあ、don't <笑><笑> ってなこと言ってしきってんじゃねえ。おめんねフォイシアピュースクドウォーストウェプライシャヴェ。ならプレイヤーが変わるのは大きなヒントになると思うけれど。大きなお世話だ。クモクレちゃん。これはベアトが
a game start and who are now trying to take charge on their own. Look at these witches were on an even higher rank than Beto. So high in fact, even Beto's teacher, Virgilia, couldn't even come close. The power levels, the power levels. Battler had a feeling that he'd seen those two several times before. Come on, Lambda Delta killed your sister. God damn it, remember that. Come on. You need to Oh my god, Battler, come on, remember that she killed your sister, dude. However, this was the first time he'd known their names and spoken to them directly. ベアと起こせず。あんたに次のゲームを準備もできない。だから私が次のゲームを用意するわけ。私たちはね、いつ正気を取り戻すかもわからないベアとにいつまでも付き合ってられるほど気が長くないの。ランデンバーン。ごめんなの。イライラするほどに。ハーボイス。お前が退屈だろうが。俺たちは知ったことじゃねえ。I <笑> <laughs> Don't worry, in caps locks. Yeah, I'm sure you will. I'm sure you will. I'm sure you will. Letting my voiceless emotion explode, I slammed the table hard. The two witches didn't flinch at all. One grinned, the other looked indifferent as though nothing had happened. The two of them just stared at me silently, as though they were reproaching me. What? Voice. Voice. Oh, ま、君決めるんじゃね。お前らに俺は付き合わない。知ったことじゃない。おお。うん。ならやっぱり不先輩ってことよね。このゲームは魔女側の勝ち。人間はクップクップってことで降り開きでいいかしら。降りるなら不
a scene was reflected on its sharp surface, but it wasn't the scene that had surrounded them, them now. If you look deep into that crystal, that fragment, then you will probably learn what was reflected on there. <sighs> it's too soon, man. If you stared at it, then you surely see the end of NG finally reached. After waiting 12 years and giving up everything for the sake of her beloved brother, the scene of her death rose as her entire body was torn to bits while she still lived. Angie better come back, man. Oh, that face! Oh! Oh my god, without thinking he grabbed at her collar, but as soon as he touched that which made up her form, it disappeared like foam on the waves. And as naturally as though she'd been there from the very, from the beginning, Berkasa was leaning against a distant wall. <sighs> oh my god, that face! Oh my god. Battler's fists shook with the anger, but even if he if he sung, swung them down, he wouldn't be able to hit Burn Castell. This witch was like a phantom, or a cat who wouldn't even let someone pet her if she didn't wish for it. And she was telling the truth. For Angie's sake, I can't step down from this fight. Even if this un if, even if these unpleasant witches hijack the game board. さすがベル。脅し方もえぐいわね。そういうことよ、バトラ。あんたにはゲームを降りることなんて許されてないの。あんたもペアとも私たちの退屈を紛らわせるゲーム版の駒でしかない。あんたのそのわけのわかんない
手にやればいい好きにしろええ好きにするわよあれれどこ行くのよ Oh my god that face <laughs> Even the battler acknowledged this fifth game he turned his back on them much to lambda delta surprise お前がベアトの代役を務めるってんならそこのメルンカステルとかいう魔女が俺の代役を務めるのも勝手だろ道理ねそうじゃないと不先輩になってしまう何よそれ私が作る渾身のエピソード5をあんた無視するっての失礼しちゃう失礼しちゃうバトラーはしばらく休憩するそうよそれまでの間私がプレイヤーの代役を務めるそれでどうバトラー Oh my god that face I'm not accustomed for her to make emotions I'm not accustomed to that なにラムダまぬけなバトラーじゃなくて私がプレイヤーだと遊んでくれないの Oh, that voice. <笑><笑>そんなわけないわペルンと一緒に遊べて嬉しいわよそうさ遊びましょう遊びましょうラムダデルタ様の超ハイパーでキラキラに可愛いエピソード5を一緒に遊びましょうよ<笑><笑>一応ベアトの作った世界なのよ世界観ぶち壊しにしてないでしょうね<笑>大丈夫だっては私そういうのの空気は読める方なのよちゃんとベアトっぽい世界観でもっと面白い物語に仕上げてみせたわバトラも休憩終わったら早く戻ってくるのよ見逃すともったいないわよベアトの秘密に迫れるようなボーナスヒントをたっぷり用意してるんだから I'm sure you did. と見せかけてミスリード満載でますますに毛にまつきなんだけどね I'm sure you did. ほらバトラ魔女の話聞いてんの<笑> ?Oh my god.Oh man, the start,、uh, the start is already great.Oh man.Without answering, Battler disappeared into the darkness.After struggling and cackling, the witches immediately started playing with the game board they had stolen from Beato. あの魔女どもに。ベアトのゲームは理解できるのか同じゲーム版を使う以上この子にできないことはできませんしかしこの子がやらないことはやれますうん<笑>やらないこととは何だチェスの道具はチェスで遊ぶために存在しますそれを使ってトランプをすることはできないしかしチェスの駒を相手に投げつけてぶつけたりチェス版に落書きしてみたりそういう行為をすることも不可能ではありませんしかしそれはチェスに対する冒涜だから誰もやらないおお、そう、ベスティーインベンティングボルチェス、メイキングそうだよ、キャッツルエニモア、オーメイキングシューダー、メイビー、デポンスキャナップムー、モーダンワン。More than one square. So basically, modifying the rules of chess as they wish, but not making another game. Let's see. I definitely wouldn't be chess anymore. Beto's eyes seem to cloud slightly with sadness. The time gold butterflies gathered and Ronave appeared holding a tea set of black tea. Oh, Chan O Kawariwa, Ikagadeska. Moraeruka. Kashkumarimashta, Ikagadeska, Ojo Samano Shiko Sagurut Tabiwa. Sapparidaga Tano Sinderze. Shikashi, Yoroshi no Deska, Kotira de Kutsurogarati. Ano Majodonga, Katani Smetter Game. Oh, eh, Sakihodo, Kocha O Totokini Ukagata Tokiniwa. もう第一の番の殺人が起こり、もうじきその次の殺人も起こりそうな気配でした。Man, this, speed running it. Oh my god. Speed run chess. When Beto and I were playing, 
The game would be paused whenever someone left their seats. However, those witches wouldn't pause the game just because I wasn't around. Ravi lifted the pot high with an elegant gesture as he poured the black tea. After finishing that, he spoke. He gave us his impressions of it. Without love, it cannot be seen. This is honorable. I understood what those words meant. When I met Virgilio's eyes, she shook her head slightly and stared at the floor. I guess Lambda Delta didn't have enough with Higurashi. Shikashi. I mean, was she the game master in Higurashi? If we're talking about games and game boards, wouldn't that be Ewa san instead that fake Hanyu? Oh. I mean, was Lambda Delta Beatrice's guardian? Ooh. Battle stood up. There was no need to make Ronove say anymore. Ronove! Man, Ronov and Virgilia are here now with Battler, man, that's something else. Not that I've noticed. So Battler needs to find out the last riddle and kill off Beatrice, maybe? But she... She's now comatose, basically. That's what I'm getting. Oh, that ah. face, man, that face is so good. These guys were even here in the beginning because they've been loafing around with crazier and crazy witches have been introduced. And now they hijacked this game between me and Bad Beatrice. <laughs> その言葉をこの子に聞かせてやりたかった。きっと聞こえていますよ。お嬢様は。それにお返事することができないだけです。Beto lay there silently, like a living doll with dull eyes. The game board she had created herself had been hijacked by incomprehensible people and was being turned into a mess. If I was designated to be her opponent, then Beto must have created this game for me. I've got to take it back. Of course, Bieto didn't respond in any way. That's right. If she can't respond, then I have to protect it in her place. この子のいないゲームにてこの子の何かを見つけてあげてくださいもしそれを見つけることができたならたとえこの子が不在であってもあなたはこの子と戦ってくれたことになるそれああ全然ダメだねイエス何やってるんだよ<笑> oh, <man. Yes. 笑> Let's go and let's take it back when he faced the jack black heavens and yelled this, the whole world shattered as though it was made of thin glass. Ooh. Is the music too loud? Maybe, I don't know. Then as though it had been that way since the beginning, transformed into that smoking room where Battler had fought Beato so many times, and which the two witches had now hijacked. <laughs> My god, they're really speedrunning it. Holy shit. Yeah, 
like you even waited for me in the first place. Her voice, though. Oh. Really? Oh, her voice. Oh my God. Oh man. Oh. Oh man. Oh, oh. Character tips. Oh. Oh, it's the same. Yeah, I think it's the same as the question marks. Corpse discovered in the servant's quarters on the first floor of the mansion. The direct cause of death is unknown, but his neck has been sliced open by a sharp blade. The wound is deep enough that anyone could easily confirm his death with absolute certainty. Oh, Lambda Delta there. Discovered in the cousin's room on the upper floor of the guest house. So guest house, mansion. Oh, Maria is dead. Oh, man. Corpse discovered in the cousin's rooms on the upper floor of the guest house. The same cause of death. Uh, Butler. Oh my god! None of the cousins are alive. Wow. Oh shit. Oh man. Cor. Didn't they all survive in every single episode? I mean, Maria died on the second Twilight, so I don't know. In the episode in episode three, so corpse discovered in the cousin's room on the upper floor of the guest house. The same, the wound was deep enough that it will easily confirm his death. So, cousin's room, cousin's room, mansion. Hideyoshi. Corpse discovered in a guest room on the first floor of the mansion. So these are the victims of uh, the first twilight. Oh man. Wait. Oh. He had been pierced through the back with a demon stake. It's the its tip reached as far as his lungs because he was lying face down on the bed suicide must be ruled out oh so he's different from everybody else which side the man doesn't gave a bit as her opponent during the first four games the scutters our lambda delta took over as Game Bastard for the first fifth game. He's not taking part in it as a player. Serving as the fifth game's fifth game's game master in place of Beato, who has stepped down from the position in the fourth game. Because of that, the story of the fifth game, which while appearing very similar to the previous games, is, is expected to turn out quite differently. Just like Bert Castell, she has no love for boredom and might be friend or foe to Beato or Burn, depending on the situation. Mm, this is the same. Uh, this is the same. 
This is the same. Same. Um, yeah, all these are the same. Uh, is this uh, the Golden Witch and Endless Witch? Beato Spies, which represent the witch's illusion, claims the entire incident on Rakanjima was caused by the witch's illusion. In the, first, in the fifth game, she clashes with Burn Castell, who denies this, because she's no more than a piece, and the higher plane version of her has withdrawn from being the game master. She's not in a position to know the truth behind the fifth game. This means she's in a different position than the one she held in previous games. Oh. The Witch of Miracles, also known as the Witch Who Knows That Miracles Don't Took Her. <laughs> what? <laughs> Participate in the fifth game as the player opposing Beato. However, from the very beginning, her aim has been to deny, deny the Witch's illusion. Her only goal is to destroy Beato and her world as a way to stave off boredom. Though she does deny the Witch's illusion, she is no ally of, bat ally of battlers. Oh. Oh man. The second day, October 5th, 1986. Oh, already on the second day. So after the murders happened, basically. Oh, I see. Oh, man. Mm. Oh, man. Dave is crying, man. Oh, God. <laughs> That's a new sprite, isn't it? Or not? I don't know. I don't remember. Dead angle. Right now, no humans exist on this island except those in, in this parlor. And with no exception, it has been shown that none of them have committed a murder. And the culprit is amongst these people. Oi, oi! Tonarto! Kete tekijaniku! Majo ga hanin de. Maho de satsujin o kashita wake de nai kagiri. あんたなの。お。あんたがジョージを主人を殺したの。ナチ。どうしてよ。どうして。私は殺していません。私は何も。In a panic and with a voice that was far from calm, in a manner that was to put it coldly, unsightly. Aunt Nazi denied the suspicion placed upon her. However, there was no longer any way around it. She stood up, brushed back her long hair, pointed at Aunt Nazi, and said one more time. Oh my god. Oh, this is a new character, isn't it? Oh, I, s I saw her on the opening. Oh. Great. This is a new opening. Not the same music. Oh my god, the music! Oh my god, the music! Oh my god! Oh my god! Is that a... Oh... Oh, man. Okay, this is so good. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Angie. Oh, my God, the music. Oh my god. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. I need this music. It was different from the title menu opening. Oh man, starting the answer arc strong, I see. Holy. 
Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, <laughs> new trophy. Magic of Miracles. Thunder Lily. As she knocked loudly and repeated, Nazi yelled. Shortly after, there was a heavy clunking sound and the sound of the door to Kizo's study. A locking could be heard. As the door opened, a heavily sweet, venomous odor flowed out. Nazi was always ashamed of how she automatically grimaced at that, even though she thought it rude to the family head. A little bit, I need to pause for a little second. Okay, I'm back. Cross was waiting for her inside the stu study. Nazi flew into his arms. <laughs> With an uncertain gait, Nazi walked towards the center of the study, supported by Cross. There, a dignified bed fitting for the Ushirumiya family head could be seen, along with Nanjo, Genji, and Kumasawa. Nanjo After sighing deeply, Nanjo left the side of the bed. On the bed, Kings could be seen lying down, asleep. Oh, oh yeah, Kinzo is dead at the. That was revealed in the finale that Kizo is always dead on the start of all games. Oh man. Sobbing, Nazi slumped over the chest of that man who had fallen into sleep from which he would never awaken. Oksama. Ooh. Now she couldn't stop crying over the death of the man who whom she loved as the second father. Come on. Why, why are you crying over fucking kings of all people? Kumasa rubbed Nazi's back, consoling her. Cross slumped into his late father's favorite chair. By sitting there, he might have been immersed in memories of his departed father. Or perhaps he thought that by just sitting there, he might be able to understand just a bit of the madness of Kizo's later years, which he had never been able to comprehend before. And Nadja, just as he had when Kizo was sat in that chair, contemplating a chess move, turned his back and looked down over the outside world through a crack in the curtains. Nanjo understood that as well. Ooh, Ushiro Kizu had risen like a comet and glittered like a supernova in the post-war business world had died. His funeral will probably be of a fantastical scale. It will also be the ceremony mar marking Cross's inheritance of the headship. He would have to arrange everything as the host of the event, carry out funeral diplomacy perfectly, make it clear to all the Shumia family, still make it clear to all that the Yoshirumiya family still had enormous influence in the political and financial spheres. As Nanjo watched Cross, he was vividly remembered at the time when Kizu had been suddenly selected as the Yoshirumiya family head, when the Kizu had been lost and confused. In this way, he was able to understand Cross's distress and sympathize with it. Nazi sobs eventually subsided. Watching this and leaving Kumasawa to care for Nazi as a fellow woman, Genji returned to where Cross was. Ah. And as though asking what should be done, Genji lowered his head slightly. Cross, with his hands still oversized, didn't respond. As even though he had known this day would come, Cross really can hide his shot at how suddenly it had reached them. 
私と南条先生にお任せを旦那様はまずは奥様とご相談いただくのが良いかと思います Maybe she heard that or maybe it was a coincidence as though responding to Genji's words Natsuki came over Her eyes were red from crying so much She apparently understood there were heavy responsibility that had been imposed on them even better than Cross did これからはあなたが栄光ある後ろ宮家の当主ですお父様の後を立派に継いだことを内外に示しましょうこの夏日あなたの妻として棺を並べる日までお仕えする覚悟です<笑> Trying to encourage her husband who had overcome was shock was overcome with shock as he lent him some reassuring words when cross finally lowered the, the hands that had been covering his face he looked up at the ceiling with a blank blank expression and let out a deep deep sigh どうかしっかりお父様の残したものを食い荒らそうと目論む輩が大勢いるのですよ私たちはお父様の名誉と財産を守るために戦わなければなりますそれが後ろ宮家当主の最初の仕事ですよ分かってる分かっているとも南條先生と源氏はお役所や葬儀業者への手配をお願いします特に源氏お父様の葬儀にふさわしいものとなるよう特に手配を頼みますよかしこまりましたそれから南條先生お父様は病院でお亡くなりになったわけではないのでそのうん場合によっては解剖が入るかもしれませんな。なんとかなりませんか。亡くなったとはいえ、お父様の大切なお体です。傷をつけるなど、耐えられることではありません。気持ちはわかる。だが、そういうところをきっちりすることも大切だ。それに、その。こう言ってはなんだが、難しい親族の方々が多いんじゃないかね。Who knew how those vultures, after the inheritance, might try to find fault with them? They might try to claim they found some reason to suspect the cause of death, using that up as a point of contention to start some trouble. Right now, it was important not only to pay Kinzo's remains the respect they were due, but also to solidify the position of the new family head, Cross. <laughs> それは大丈夫だ安心しなさいとにかく金蔵さんのことはわしらに任せて夏日さんはクラウスさんのそばにいてあげなさいこれからが大変なんだから分かっていますあなたもどうかしっかり Oh my god, what was that? <laughs> Cross was still staring blankly at the ceiling with a befuddled expression on his face. She understood the shock and heavy responsibility he bore. Not she understood her husband's feelings as much as anyone. Cross didn't respond. Natsuki thinking him to be just unreliable, just a bit unreliable at the moment, decided she must offer her support. Seeing her husband like this actually spurred Natsuki to action, and a resolute expression rose to her face. そうでございますねその時間はきっと今しか取れないでしょうから Being in charge of a funeral is tiring work There's no time to shed tears If Cross were ever to be given time to cry from his dead father That time would have to be now Everyone agreed with Kumasawa's words Even so, Cross continued to blankly gaze up at the ceiling and didn't respond in any way As he urged the servants to go ジェシカにも話してきます今やあの子が次期当主ですそれにふさわしい自覚を持つようによく言い聞かせなくては待てお As they each started to make their way out of the study Cross finally spoke They were stopped walking はい待てはい Hadn't she already stopped walking just like her husband had asked But despite that He told her once again to wait From those slightly weak words, Natsuki understood that he probably stopped her because he wanted, to be by, wanted her to be by his side. 
お前たちは下へ私は夫と言います何かあったらここに電話するようにかしこまりましただから待てと言っているおおマイガーッ When Cross suddenly raised his voice, everyone jumped and turned around at death's door. Unable to comprehend what she would have done to spark her husband's wrath, Nazi ran up to him. What did you do, you? I was surprised to hear something about you. I'm sorry. No, it's not. It's not. It's not. Wait a minute. 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 ここから静かに出ていくだけですよだからそれを待てというのだいいか誰もその場から動くよおまいかわわっ一歩たりともだ疲れたなら椅子にでもソファーにでも好きに座ればいいだから何も喋らずに静かに黙って何もせずにいろ Those unreasonable words felt a glimpse of how Kinzo used to be. Nazi c o n r i d e r s slight surprise at this behavior, which almost made it seem as though Kinzo had possessed her husband. Oh my god. <laughs> Nazi told the servants to wait for the time being. She ordered them to sit on the sofa a short distance off, approached her husband, and spoke to him in a small voice. そうではないのだあなたがお命じになれば夏日はいくらでも待ちますとどまりますですからどうかお気を静められてください Was it really blood or he was actually being possessed? Cross's disorderly style of speech strongly resembled Kinzo's. As she watched this, Nazi became certain that Cross was Kinzo's son after all, and that he was the true successor, more suitable than any other person. Nazi, Cross stood up and headed towards the window, trying to lengthen the distance between himself and the servants waiting on the sofa by even a small amount. Nazi realized that he must have something to secret to discuss. What is happening? <laughs> yes, you. What is it? Man, Nazi looks so sad. But I don't want to go to the hospital. I don't want to go to the hospital. What is it? Oh, is that... Oh, man. <laughs> so, so the siblings were right. Happy Maria. Melody Land on the King. Kondo Kungo, Owen Stakotonga, Melody Land. Anokato, Engo Kiri to Moshaget as Arima Senka. Is that Disneyland? But she was caught up to eat that. Toast. Otokono Giri to you, Monoga. Cotor in a cup. Oh, man. <laughs> Cross claimed to, honor, to hold honor as a virtue. However, Nasuhiro knew that he most often used this as an excuse for when he reluctantly went along with some deal that he just couldn't refuse. Oh my god, Cross! Oh my god, Cross! I mean, Okay. Oh my god. あれは事故なんかではありません。<笑><笑><笑> Natsuhi 
これ以上お付き合いしてはならないと土方君は立派な好青年だ<笑>彼の生き様からは学ぶことも多いぞ彼は若いが尊敬できる彼のことを侮辱することは許さんぞ<笑>あなたは同じことを月旅行の時にもおっしゃいました<笑> What? <笑>先見性がある未来がある夢があると連呼され、oh、そのあの子はいかがでしたか口頭無稽な話だったとあなた自らがお認めになったではありませんか私はあの NASA の交換とか名乗るおかしな男が現れた頃からこれは絶対におかしいと確信しておりました<笑> Cross cannot be this incompetent He cannot be あの外国人が国際的な詐欺師だったに過ぎないあの件については私も曽根崎氏も被害者だクロス cannot be this incompetent this cannot be true man 彼の先見性は今をもって間違っていない将来必ず世界の大富豪が宇宙旅行をたしなむ時代が訪れる、oh、maybe 50 years in the future cross maybe そしてその最初の授業は、oh. 民間医者によって独占されるだろう This is, af- this is very apropos because isn't, isn't、uh, those two billionaires going to space right now? 着眼点は間違っていないそれを利用して世界中の投資家を騙している国際的な詐欺集団がいて But they made their own space、uh, their space、uh, businesses ソネザキという男もその一味だったと申し上げているのです。I mean, Elon Musk and now、uh, uh, Jeff Bezos and the other guy。あなたはどこまでお人よしなのですかどうしていつもうさんくさい話を疑いもせずに乗ってしまうのですか訂正しろソネザキ氏は優秀な未来ある男だ。うさんくさくなどないソネザキ、ソノザキ。<笑>そのザキは、oh、彼の語る夢は未来を先取りしているからこそそれが見えるものには妄想にしか見えんだけど女のお前には未来など見えんええ、女の私には未来など見えませんでも現在なら見えます私の目の前で狡猾な二枚舌の詐欺師たちに丸め込まれ騙されてなお申し,している哀れな夫の姿なら見ることができますねえ、言っお前には金も事業も経済も何もわかるおまえか。夫の仕事に口は出すの。You don't understand anything, Cross. 妻は家事だけをしてればいい。お前は黙っていろ。Oh, fuck you, Cross. <laughs> Without another word, Nazi fell silent, just as Cross had hoped she would. She was already far beyond anger and sadness. And the emotion that lay on the other side of those was almost an indifferent pity. <laughs> Cross, who had been on and off of Kinzo since she was very young, had started to subconsciously admire the way his father lived. Your father made his money by sacrificing those around him, didn't he not? Come on. And now you're just. Without realizing it, he had come to believe that he could be recognized as a man in his own right if he suppressed his father. He sacrificed everyone to get his wealth, man. There were no allies, he killed everybody, or socially, economically, and perhaps even murdered people to get where he is right now. Come on. However, Kinsa had been a mad genius, the likes which never before had been seen in the Shurumiya family's long history. That talent was a gift from heaven, and it definitely wasn't genetic, much less something that could be learned. To give the two of them a chance to talk alone, Natsuki told the servants not to tell anyone about Kinsa's death, and they left the room for the time being. Then she invited Cross to her bedroom and made him tell everything about their current financial situation. These were things that Nazi hadn't been told about, under the assumption that a woman had no business knowing. Nazi had herself made a point of avoiding this area in the past, thinking that it wasn't a wife's place to intrude on such matters. However, this might also have been that she had abandoned her duty as a wife to protect her family. The depths of this sin had been made quite clear to Nazi. <laughs> But Cross was probably tired of trying to defend himself, perhaps because he had gotten a headache and he hid his face and sank into silence. 
As he noticed that, noticed that the water in the electric kettle was boiling and stood up to refill her, refill her cup with black tea. As she touched the cup of, cup of black tea, she noticed it for the first time. The sound of the cup and saucer clicking together told her that her fingers were shaking. Ooh. Cross had built up a large debt to obtain funds for his various projects and to cover the losses when they failed. Of course, he had put the mansion and property up as collateral. However, doing such a thing above board will result in the mortgage being registered. In other words, there would have been a, there would have been a record that Cross had put Kinzo's wealth up as collateral to obtain a loan without anyone's permission. Kinzo, even the others, must not learn of such a thing. Therefore, Cross had been put those assets up as collateral using the worst possible method. What the fuck? Cross, you cannot be that fucking incompetent that you did that. It was enough for Rosa to co-sign a fucking debt. A, a fucking loan. You signed over power of attorney. Fuck! Oh my god, you're you're such a fucking moron. Oh my god. Is that even possible? Holy shit! Cross your fucking dumbass. Oh my god, I cannot with Cross, man. I cannot. What do you mean? What Cross was saying probably meant that he had, in essence, destroyed his life and gave over his... Fucking hell, man. Both destroyed his life and destroyed uh, uh, his hold over his own house. <laughs> oh my god, you're such an idiot, man. Oh... What Cross was saying probably meant that he had, in essence, signed away the rights to his assets. If these assets had been used as collateral for a loan... So you did it... So you did this with a, what? A bank? I don't think so. Would they? I don't know. Then Cross would still have some leeway under the law. They'd have to deal with a bank, which probably have absolutely no compassion, but they would be able to work something out within the rules set by society. However, signing away the deed and power of attorney was a whole different story. Yeah, you just basically robbed your own life doing that. Oh my god. In other words, even the mansion they were living in. <laughs> Cross for homeless. Oh my god. <laughs> if the person holding the deed were to decide to ignore his agreement with Cross and sell the mansion to a third party right at this moment, it would have no recourse whatsoever. You sign away the powers of attorney, you bitch. Oh my god. I cannot believe you did that. I cannot. I'm feeling bad for Jessica for having such a horrible father now, holy shit. <laughs> Far from using collateral for a loan, this was basically the same as selling their house to borrow money. No, Cross cannot be this incompetent. Cannot. I think Lambda Delta chose the... <laughs> oh man, I think Lambda Delta might have made Cross dumber. <laughs> Cannot be this dumb, come on. I think Love the Delta messed with things. Cross cannot be this stupid. I'm feeling sorry for Jessica, though. <笑>私たちは今すぐに物事をまとめ出て行かなくてはならないということですね。理屈上はそうだ。だが取引の相手はいずれも社会的信用のある人物ばかりだ。その近じゃないぞ。経済人同士の信用取引だ。私も相手を
自分の授業に自分で自信が持てないことになるだろう。<笑> If you were such a successful businessman, you wouldn't be in debt now, would we? <laughs> Natsuki only buried, barely stopped herself from saying that. Oh. 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 どうしてですか君は知らない方がいいとにかく絶対にこのことを誰にも知られてはならぬと<笑>クロス looked at the floor shakily shaking his head over and over it would come to criminal charges and he must have broken some laws he's probably been so intent on raising a large sum of money that nothing had mattered to him but survival Cross had seriously believed that he would succeed with several businesses and that he would definitely gain huge profits. So he had figured that even if he stepped over a few legal lines, he would be able to pay everything back before too long and pretend that the whole thing had never happened. This may gave, this may gave Ben the factor that lessened his resistance towards breaking a couple of laws. And now, Kinzo's death, the worst possible thing had occurred, and they wouldn't be able to keep it all hidden for, for long. What are we going to do? I'm not going to do anything. So now they're going to hide that Kinzo is dead, is it? I'm not going to do anything. The cake is now going to be the cake. The cake is now going to be the cake. The cake is now going to be the cake. The cake is now going to be the cake. 巨大ビジネスタワーを建設する計画が進んでいるこれは私のこれまでの投資の中で最も確実で最も大きな成功をしているものだただそれは身をつけるのにまだ時間をかける絶対に確実だが今すぐというわけではないのだその事業の成功は借金を返済するに足りるものですかもちろんだと思うこれまでの借金を全て帳消しにできるだから信じてくれもう少しだけ時間が欲しいんだしかしお父様はもうお亡くなりになってしまいましたもうその時間はないのですよ分かっている分かっているともだからどこかから金を調達して今すぐに借金を返さなくてはならないとにかく金が必要なんだ金が大量に今すぐうわAs Cross roared and clutched at his head, he writhed about as if in pain. As she watched, several emotions swirled about Natsuhi's chest. Her emotions conflicted as she felt pity for her husband while also, feel while also feeling that he was a fool. And she felt a mixture of resentment and regret towards her own irresponsibility, letting her husband run wild for so long. Even if this day hadn't come, It should have been clear that they were in a very critical situation. And he had carelessly waited for this moment to come and was now writhing about. Her husband was so foolish and so pitiful. It would be easy to let herself get fed up with this, however, she was his wife. For a wife, ridiculing her husband as a fool would run in conflict with her responsibilities. If she was a fool, then she would have to support him enough to compensate. However, she didn't have a clue what she should do, since there had been such a massive amount of money within arm's reach. It was only natural that Cross had tried to dip his hands into it. It would also be easy to tell him to be a man and give, it up, give up all, all of it, but that would also run in conflict with her responsibilities. She was Urshamiya, not he. The woman had become Cross's wife and had sworn to support him, the new head of the Urshamiya family, for her whole life. She had to somehow help her husband in his efforts to raise money. She understood it logically, but she couldn't suppress the indescribable dejection that seemed to rise up from the dark depths of her heart. So, the. Oyaji no Kakshi Ogon! ジュットの黄金なら200億の価値があるあれさえあればそうそうあれさえ見つかれば万事は解決する夏日あれだ魔女の秘文だあれをとこう一緒にとこう
黄金さえ見つかれば万事解決なんだそうさこの島のどこかに隠されてるはずなんだあれさえあればあれさえあればい一体あなたやめてください Don't hit Natsuhi. Cross acting ex as excited as he was, as he thought up a perfect, brilliant plan. Grasp Natsuhi's upper arms tightly. Natsuhi couldn't help but be dumbfounded. She wasn't taken aback because she heard him bring up something as fake sounding as the hidden gold. This was Cross, who usually mocked the story of the hidden gold, saying that it didn't exist and it was all an illusion his father had created to borrow a lot of money. That was why. That was why not he was doubly taken back. Taken aback. So, the Jessica Nimo Kyokistemoro, Kodomo no Kansay, the Naratoker Kotomo Arkam Sireni, Imawa Ika no Ichida Isinanda, Mina de Kyokishiana Kteva Naranoi. So, the Anna no Yetga Tukuta Kimagrena, Nazo Nazoranda, Toker Hadsa, Tokena Hazana Inda. I mean, as a, as incompetent as you are, Cross, I don't believe you can. Ah, Natsuhi, really good. I was still there. How long is it? There is a lot of time in this island. If it were to be solved, it would be a great deal. Natsuhi, I'm calling Jessica. 家族の危機は家族で乗り越えようさあ早く黄金はこの島にあるすぐ身近にあるんだ What? Unable to withstand the pain in the arm he was still twisting in his excitement Nuts he knocked crosses aside Cross tripped over the edge of the bed and flopped over onto the floor Oh my god いい加減にしてくださいそしてどうか冷静にならえてください後宮家の一大事にそんな夢みたいなことを言い出してどうするというのですかな、ナツヒあなたもよく頭を冷やされて現実的な金策をお考えになってください Oh, oh man, they should solve this, the, the epitaph though They should 私も頭を冷やしてきます待ってくれ、ナツヒ I guess Cross. Maybe he had come to his senses the instant he fell over. Not Cross tried to tell Natsuhi to stop, but she just kept walking. After closing the door forcefully, Natsuhi dashed away. Natsuhi ran through the corridor. Even though she didn't want anyone to see her like this, she ran headlong into Genji. Oh, Oh man, is this gonna be Natsuhi focused? Is this... Is this gonna be... Just like episode 1. Genji,お父様の書斎はどうなっていますか? しばらく私とお父様の二人きりにするようにもし主人に私のことを聞かれても知らないというのですよかしこまりました After grabbing the key to the study that Genji was holding out to her Natsuhi rushed up the stairs Oh, so Natsuhi is the one who's gonna She then flew into the study Finally let out a wail and cried お父様、愚かな私たちをどうかお許しください。私と主人は、お父様の気づき上げてきたものを受け継ぐことができます。罪深く、愚かな私たちをどうかどうかお許しください。そしてもしお許しいただけるならば、どうか愚かな私たちを
Natsu cried even harder. She kept imagining Kinzo sitting up suddenly and patting her head. No, father isn't the type of person to pamper. More likely he'd yell at me to stop being so noisy. <laughs> However, neither of these imaginations came true because it was an undeniable fact that Kinzo had entered an eternal sleep. But even so, Natsuki brought back the sleeping Kinzo to forgive and help them. It was still only a few hours after his passing. Perhaps his soul was still here, listening to her. Believing this, Natsuki begged for Kinzo's forgiveness and help even more earnestly. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Kizu came back from the dead. <laughs> that voice made Natsuki a jump in surprise. Oh my god. <laughs> I have no clue. <laughs> when she faced in the direction the voice had come from, she saw Kizo sitting at the study desk, folding up in his reading glasses. Oh my god. <laughs> but you don't neglect your your mistress, did you? Didn't you? Ah, uh, and then your daughter. Oh my god. Uh. This is, is this her imagination? That's he understood. This was just an illusion, one that Natsuki had created out of her desire to speak with the memory of Kinzo as he was was. No, that wasn't it. She believed that just for now, Kinzo's soul had shown itself to her. She was sure that doubting this would cause it to vanish in an instant. Oh. Oh. oh my god, is Kinzo gonna become uh, Natsuki's furniture? Oh my god. Oh shit! Just like uh, Maman is to is to Angie, just like Saktaro is to Maria, is Kinzo gonna become uh, Nazi's furniture? Oh my God, this is gonna be hype! Oh my God, this is gonna be very good. <laughs> Kinzo's succession to the family headship had come suddenly. At the time, he had been nothing more than a single young man from a branch family, far separated from the Ushurmiya main family. The main, main family might have had an honor and tradition, but Kinzo had nothing to do with that. Then the principal members of the family, of the main family were wiped out in the Great Kanto Earthquake along with their businesses. On top of that, there had been complicated antagonism between the members of the family at the time, and the elders had all tried to impose their wills on the others that, that sinking ship. Because of this, they weren't even able to elect a leader to revive the Ushimiya family. They then found a common ground and selected Kinzo, a youth with absolutely no ties to any of the opposing elders to be the head. So the elders hadn't really entrusted Kinzo with the rebuilding of the Shuramiya family. Kinzo had been nothing more than their puppet, with his arms and legs pulled in opposite directions. Oh. oh, you were in the army. 
after listening to the approaching footsteps of that reaper day in and out in, in and day out it is said that kinzo started cutting his ties with his world one by one and then on that day when he had severed all his regrets and he had reached a state of enlightenment it is said that he had a mystical experience it is said that he met her the golden witch beatrice わたしは魔女と契約を交わし、本と狂気の力を与えられた。その日を境に古き私は死に狂気の魔力を得た新しき私が誕生したのだ。存じております。そして戦後、お父様は天才的辣腕にて後ろ見分けを復興させるのです。The now deceased elders who knew Kinzo at the time had whispered to each other that Kinzo must have bumped his head on the battlefield and returned with a different personality. That was how much Kinzo had stood out after the war. Whether the story about Kinzo meeting a witch was true or not, there could be no doubt that the extraordinary experience of war had prepared him for death and let him reach a state of enlightenment. If you wanted to describe the mystical experience following all of that as meeting with a witch, that claim certainly shouldn't be dismissed out of hands. So this is it. Oh, Tosama was sent so far to the end. Now, Major Beatrice was sent to the end. She was sent to the end. She was sent to the end. So, the Beatrice was the only person who was sent to the end. She 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 was sent to the end. Oh, Tosama. その大門の魔女は新しき当主である夫クラウスには力を貸してくださらないのでしょうかかすであろうな真に当主を継承したならば真に継承するとはどういう意味ですか真の意味で後宮家の当主としての責任と誇りを持てるかどうかということだ夏日お前ならば分かっているはず当主とは血で継承されるものではない魂と信念によって継承されるのだクラウスが我が長男であってもそれがなくては真の当主とは呼べないそしてそれが心に宿されていたなら yeah, this is... This is certainly her imagination. Yeah, definitely her. Definitely her furniture. Oh. Oh my god. Isn't she... Isn't she just, uh... A doll now when kinzo called the witch's name golden butterflies see throughout every corner of the room oh my god the music <laughs> this fantastical scene had an otherworldly beauty to it it was like standing in the midst of a blizzard of golden flowers of golden flower petals being blown about a rose garden of gold as nazi stared at the scene in shock the gold butterflies had gathered and formed a human shape Then the witch of the portrait appeared. Oh. その傲慢さこそが後宮家当主の資格だというか傲慢とはすなわち自身であり勇気であるそしてそれに見合う力を得ようとする悪なき向上心の現れであるだからこそ私はお前を支配した傲慢を語る男がそれを実現していく様を見
あらわを支配できる者にはその王者の傲慢が必要だわかるか夏日よ真の王者はあらゆる苦難を恐れぬ必ず乗り越えられると公言するその三段がなくともだだから弱者は希望を持つ集いあがめ協力を誓うそこに力が生まれ有限は実行されるのだ So the Rokenjima Beatrice now is different from the game board that comatosed Beatrice それを心に刻めは,はいお父様ナツヒアンデスト Through this mystic, mystical experience, Kings was telling her how to prepare herself to overcome hardship, even after his own death. Feeling a warm sensation rise up in her chest, she let the valuable words Kings had given her echo through her mind over and over. A true monarch, in other words, the true head of the Ushermia family, must not fear hardship. Such a person must believe they can overcome any hardship, they can even believe in. Believe it about themselves, and they'll have no chance of overcoming their challenges. She suddenly felt very ashamed of the way she'd entered this room, sobbing and asking Kinzo what to do. Hmm. <laughs> ほうどうやってクラウスの借金を返済するかその青写真も描けぬのにか Oh man, Beatrice laughed unpleasantly. No, that wasn't it. She was testing Nazi to see whether she possessed the mental readiness to be a true monarch. Nazi wasn't confused anymore. She answered clearly, gazing into Beatrice's eyes. はい、今はどうすればいいのかその方法をまだ見つけることはできませんしかし私の夫は新しき後ろ宮家の当主であり私はそれを支える妻ですですから夫に代わり私が宣言します聞こう後ろ宮クラウスと夏日は必ずやこの苦難を乗り越え、oh, 後ろ宮家の名誉を守ってみせますお父様にご心配をおかけすることはありませんクラウスの借金の規模と惨憺たる状況については知っておるなはい、この屋敷さえも明日には立ち退けと命じられても拒めぬという最悪の状況です遺産分配となれば親族たちに刑事告発さえされるかもしれませんしかし心配には及びませんそうなる前に借金を全て返済し名誉を取り戻します As she, to, as she stood in attention with a resolute attitude, Matsi proclaimed this clearly with Ushurmi Akinzo and Beatrice as witnesses. Oh, so what led to you, oh man? For a while, they remained silent as though waiting Nazi's resolve, and Akinzo chuckled and turned away. <laughs> その資質を持つ女を息子がめとったことさえこれもまたそなたの教運よベアトリーチ私の最後の命令だ当主でないそなたの命令をもはや聞く義理はないぞほうなら新しき後ろ見分け当主の命令に従えそなたはすでに当主でなくクラウスは未だ当主ではないわらわは誰に使えよというのか Oh, it's gonna be a Nazi Oh, man お前にそれを委ねる後ろ宮家の当主を受け継ぐ資格があるかどうかそして片翼のわしの紋章を背負うにふさわしいかどうかお前が確かめるのだ断るぞ当主でなき男の命令など聞けぬわいや違うぞこれは遺言である当主が残したお前への最後の命令である<笑>ならば従わぬわけにはいかぬかわらわもつくづく付き合いがよい違うな
Oh. This, is, this is so comforting and so weird at the same time. Oh my god. That might have seemed like a mere response to Natsuki, but to Kinzo and Beatrice, it seemed to be something of a much greater significance. Significance. Beatrice not, nodded deeply. Her emotion as elegant as her dress, she bowed deeply before Natsuki. ありがとう。あなたの力が必要です。私たちは必ずこの苦難を乗り越えます。そのために努力は惜しまぬが、先に断らねばならぬ。かつて金蔵の窮地を救ったように、そなたに再び莫大な黄金を与えれば。この度の苦難は解決することは分かっているしかしそれはできぬのだそうですかすまんな夏日ベアトリーチェの黄金は私一代限りという契約なのだうんでゴールそしてそれを受け継ぐためには魔女の秘文を解かねばならぬのが取り
つまりそれはこれまでと何ら変わらないということ理解できていますね源氏はい片翼のわしの家具はこれからも親方様にお仕えいたします熊沢そして南条先生私の話は理解できましたねあ,あのそのそ熊沢は言うやつはそそれでいいのかね夏日さんお父様は確かに今日お亡くなりになったかもしれませんしかし今この場にいる私たち全員が信じることでお父様をよみがえらせる魔法を使うことができます無理ですよ奥様そんないくらなんでも解剖すれば死亡時期を特定される不審がられることは避けられへん yeah, that's, that's gonna be a crime, isn't it? お父様はお亡くなりにならないのですから解剖などされるいわれはありませんよ They're gonna hide the body now. Think. Of course, she wasn't planning to make it seem like Kinzo would leave, live forever. The fake life given to Kinzo would only last until Cross could repay his debts. After that, Kinzo's soul would finally be able to rest in peace. Nanja repeatedly said that the time of death would be discovered during the autopsy, but Nazi kept saying that this wouldn't be a problem. おおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおお Rokinjima's vast uncultivated forest was the perfect place to stage a disappearance. One day, Kinzo would go out in the forest for a walk and never return. They would search for him without success and then be forced to report the disappearance. そそれででいいのですか奥様た確かに私たちが黙っていれば親方様がお亡くなりになられたのは秘密にできるかもしれませんですがどこでどう間違って誰かに知られないとも熊沢声が大きいですお父様はあちらでお休み中なのですよ起こしてしまわれるつもりですかおまいかっ This is so insane. It isn't a corpse. Kinzo is sleeping. As Nazi said that, Kinzo lay quietly on the bed as though there was nothing at all, at all odd about her words. Oh man. So, so, I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. そなたがどんな姿をしていたのかそなたがどんな日々を謳歌していたのか Once again, a storm of gold butterfly started to swirl, covering Kinzo's cold body. Then, after the butterflies exploded into fine gold powder and disappeared, just like those fairy tales that had been told over and over since long ago, Kinzo slowly opened his eyes and sat up. Uso Tsukime, Tasho, a Yokin Stata de Aroga. Do the Kinzo, Karada no Homa. Warukua Naina, Dokoka, you may no Nakano Yona Kanjita, Omomina Naina. Oh, so this is the. So this is the illusion of the witch, is it? So basically, until. Ah, I see. Kono Yoni Todomaru Koto, Yurusarin Sonzainga. So, Nazi is on the witch's side this time around. Oh man. I need to see Shannon though. 
So this Beatrice is different from Shannon now. And Shannon's Beatrice as well. Oh man. So the game board Beatrice is now comatose. There is a Beatrice that Nazi has conjured. And then there is uh, Shannon's Beatrice. Oh man. <laughs> これにてどうか、ナツヒ。金蔵は蘇った。故に葬儀は不要。そなたの苦難はこれにて解決だ。ベアトリーチ。Oh my god, that face. Oh. Nazi so happy. As Nazi tried to find words to get gratitude to I mean, amidst her confusion, Beatrice waggled her pointer finger and spoke. 感謝の言葉はいらぬぞ。支配者は傲慢であればよい。わらわは頼みは聞かぬが命令には従うのでなそれでも言います。ありがとう。これで主人のために時間が稼げます。あとは私たちの仕事です。しかし、ナツヒ、確かに金蔵は蘇ったが、それは永遠ではない。我が魔